Hey guys, welcome back. Stop talking roll episode 190, your number one show for Jiu-Jitsu analysis on YouTube. Today we have Dan in the black and Spencer in the white. And Dan is coming back off of an injury. So um, just a little, you know, the starting in side control, but just making good choices coming back off of an injury. Um, I do know it's groin hamstring related, hip related. So making good choices. And yeah, so choosing to start in the bottom of side control guys sometimes when you come back and you're injured like maybe that's all you're doing and you just let the person tap you out over and over again but just getting on the mats better than nothing dan's obviously moving pretty well here which he did a great job of um, getting in front of that arm using that to peel him off he's putting him into a good situation where you could look to do a a uh, a triangle there's also i've only hit this like twice ever but there is a come there is a leg kimura right here um if you lace your legs through and and catch his hand on top of i think it's this foot um you can come more than with your legs if you want to give a shot i find more success although i've only touched twice i found more success against much larger opponents because their arms are longer and it's easier to wrap your legs around but uh good getting back to a guard looks like you're clamped around his arm right now might have a head but either way Um, I would Spencer on top. I'd look to like wrap up his head. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. And then bait and then sprawl heavy down. I'd sprawl down heavy there. This is actually a good position. So half guard, this is, a, this is the position I like to get to. And then I heel to, I'd have been talking about this a lot, but I'd be heel to it up to the butt, your foot that is, which lets you pop the knee out. And the leg kimura is very similar to that grip. Look at that. Full circle. You could lace, Dan, you could lace your foot behind your leg right here, behind your calf right here. And that would put him into the scorpion or the lockdown, which is pretty difficult to deal with. I don't know if that's in the cards right now with your injury, but an option. Um, a Dars would be great there, Spencer. So that's where you can loop your, this arm. You loop this arm through. Behind the head. Sorry, my nose is really itchy. Um, behind the head and look to get the choke from there. Nice heavy sprawl. Make sure your hips are like on their head or the back of their head. That's where you want it to be heavy. Nice turnover. Yeah, you also don't want to get your arm trapped. So that happens because you do dig your arm in too much and, and you're too parallel with him in the turtle, in the sprawl, which is like he, he just wraps and rolls and... It's really easy to take you over. This is a good example of like the triangle base, which I've talked about many times, but basically. So like you have one, two, three points of contact and Dan just takes you over this edge of the triangle or the tripod. One of the things you could do is bring both hands underneath to, to peel that off. So bring them in tight and then do like a 10 finger grip to peel off. We worked on that last week in no gi. There you go. Yeah, into the Americana. I'd wrap his head up, but I think you're good. Uh, you should be able to turn, tap it up. You should be able to turn. Oh, you need him in the face, that's right. That's what you get, Spencer. Dan is a psychopath letting Spencer start in Scarfold, by the way, but that's how you get better at jiu-jitsu. You get people to put them in your best moves and then try to survive and escape and turn it back on them. What I like to do here is make a frame, and Spencer's doing a great job of not letting him do that. Like, holding on this arm is a problem, so I need to get that back. But the other hand, at the very least a elbow into their face and pushing them off.
Yeah, there you go. I like that too. Create a little space, throw your leg up, peel them off that way. That works great. Right into the Kamora. Kamora, 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 Kamora. Nice. Yep. You could take his back. Put the hook in, put the hook in. Or you could do that. Yeah, you could throw. I, you could put instead of. Oh, he's tapping. Okay. Well, to improve that a little bit, instead of your foot being kind of here, bend your leg and put your shin on the back of his head. Put the shin on the back of his head. Um, and and then you can throw the, the leg over at the last minute. I think that might be it. Yeah, five seconds. All right. Well, thank you, Dan and Spencer. Uh, Spencer, thank you for rolling appropriately with Dan while he's coming back from an injury. That was actually like a great round. Like you could not tell that Dan was injured. Um, so great job. And Dan, great job on the recovery. Way to keep it up. Um Guys, if you're ever injured, I highly recommend, if you can, still come to the gym and do what you can. Um, a year, or not a year, wow, it's almost a year ago. Nine months ago, seven months ago, <laughs> I tore my hamstring. Obviously, that was like, you know, one of the things that precip pre precipitate, precip pre precipitation is rain, precipitated me uh, making this show was um i had nothing to do and i wanted to do jujitsu <laughs> and uh i got injured so i was like let me film rounds and commentate on them so i actually i think i did the first episode before i got hurt like my intention was to do it and then i got hurt so i was like well <laughs> this is all i'm doing now um but you know you still you get in there and you you can still learn you can still watch you can still listen you can still participate as much as you can um and you can get better jujitsu just watching and learning um it's a, it's you know if it if it's in your cards right like obviously we all have lives things to do but you know if you get injured try still try to get into the gym okay i i think it helps um it helps you feel connected still because injuries can be quite lo lonely um and terrifying at times depending on what it is and uh being around like-minded people being around people that have been through injuries before like when dan hurt his hamstring i was like you know, we have some great PTs at the gym, but I was like, I got a slew of stuff that you can do if you ever need it. So um, you pick up things along the way. Everybody's got some kind of injury. So it's, uh, you know, a good way to share knowledge and share experience. All right. Thank you, guys. Um, please drop a like and subscribe if you haven't already. Hit the notification bell. I get these episodes out every morning, 8 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, Monday through Saturday. And if you want to be on the show, check out the description below. And I'd love to have you on here. All right. Have a great day. Bye.